Hey everyone, welcome to the series of Pandas. Today we will be talking about the functionalities of lock and ilock in Pandas. So let's get started and look at our data set which we will be working in this. So this is our data set. It is of Titanic ship now in log log is used for filtering your rows and selecting columns by the use of label and when i say label label stands for your indexes that is your 0 1 2 for if you are referring to as rows or it count as uh, column names if you are referring to your columns so let's get started and use our functionality of lock to retrieve our data. Now the format of lock is uh, rows comma columns. So first we specify what rows do we want and then we specify what columns do we want. So let's say we want row number zero with all its columns. Okay, so here it is the row zero with all its columns as you can see all right now you can also use lock in this fashion if you want the rows of first three rows 0 comma 1 comma 2 and you want with all those columns so just put a colon that stands for all columns so this fetch you the rows of index number 0, 1 and 2. Now an easier way or rather I would say a more efficient way to, put, to use this command is as follows. You can use your range parameter that is you want the rows of 0 till 2 comma you want all the columns so you would put colon all right so you see the results are the same now uh, one, another thing if you want to retrieve your all rows okay you want all rows so you put a colon and you need all rows of the column let's say name okay so this gives all the names in all the rows okay now say for example we have another column name let's say the column of age okay so we want tf dot log and the rows we want is all rows and the column we want is your name comma your age okay so this gives your name and age okay now let's say for example that you want all the rows but you don't want these three columns you want all the rows from the column name from the column name till the column of embarked so it's very simple you will say tf dot log you want all the rows and you want uh, your column name to be name and till you use a colon for the range embarked that is your last column name so let's see how it works now you can see the data set the new data set is from the starts with the 
name of column as name and its last column name is embarked all right so you can see the loc function is so useful in pandas now okay, now another thing you can do in this if you want your data set of gender that is sex okay and you want only the male okay so this gives you the data set only for the male persons okay as you can see now if you want to add some more information to this you can say that if you want additional information with their names so you will say tf.log and you will select the column of sex which is male comma along with their name so this gives the rows with the column of males along with their names okay so this is the use of loc functionality all right uh, let's talk a bit now about iloc now your iloc is used for filtering your rows and selecting columns uh, based on its integer values now your i loc in i stands for integer okay now the loc was using your uh, label values that is your indexes and column names whereas i loc uses your integer values let's see how tf dot i loc and you want all the rows okay with columns zero till second that is you want the three column names okay so you can see only two column names are being given now let me show you one thing when you apply df dot columns you get to see the names of the columns so you can see the first is passenger id second is this third is this okay now when i am saying the names of the column 0 to 2 it should have done 0 1 2 till p class but it is only selecting the columns till survived why so because i loc follows the feature of exclusive properties that is when you apply your first integer range the first number that is 0 is inclusive that is it includes 0 column but when you apply your second uh, value the column uh, the integer value of second it is it excludes that is it works on uh, 0 till 2 minus 1 that is why we are getting only two columns and it's the opposite case in log in log all the two uh, values were inclusive that is if I say that I want log so you can see that this is giving me a 0 1 and 2 but if I put an I log here this will exclude the last number okay so as you can see this is the functionality of I log now before closing the session let me show you one more thing tf 0 2 now many of you would get confused as to what values the user is implying here whether it's for rows whether it's for columns so let's find out so this is the same result as the above so what we get is that pandas uses its uh, default values as iloc but i prefer to use uh, this iloc feature so that other uh, person who's reading your code can understand okay you're referring to the 0th row 
and sec, uh, second row so you are referring to i log that's why it is exclusive all right so to sum up uh, in log the ranges works for your labels and in i log it works with your integer positions in log all the both both values are in, in inclusive ranges whereas in i log only the first value is inclusive and second is exclusive okay guys so this was it for the lock and i lock session if you have any queries please comment and in the meanwhile please subscribe the channel thank you